Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome to another video. Today we have a pretty interesting build, a pretty niche build and one that I think you guys are going to find to be a lot of fun. So let's just go into it. For starters, once again, we have Monte Carlo being an absolutely fun weapon to use and there's a reason to it. Weapon damage reduces melee ability cooldown. So when I'm out there and I'm hurting enemies with Monte Carlo, first of all, I have a chance to get my full melee back, but also with Monte Carlo, when I am hurting enemies, it does refill my melee energy. Now this is very, very important for a major reason. That major reason is called Sun Bracers. Sun Bracers in Armor 2.0, are actually a lot of fun, and here is why. Sunbracers have a perk called Helium Spirals, which increases the duration of solar grenades. Solar melee kills grant unlimited solar grenade energy for a brief period of time. So what does that exactly mean in context of Monte Carlo? Well, if you are killing enemies of Monte Carlo and you're doing damage to ads of Monte Carlo, to bosses, whatever, you are getting your melee charge up. Let's say there's a thrall that rushes you. If you melee that thrall, you will have infinite grenades for the length of five grenades. They just have to be solar grenades. They last longer as well. And this can be procced for many, many reasons. And we'll go right into one of them. One of the reasons why this is such a fun build, let's say you see a group of ads for a second. If you have your melee up, you kill a little thrall, and then you throw a grenade into a pack of adds or five grenades into a pack of adds. If you are using the perk ashes to assets or even better enhanced ashes to assets, you are gaining even more super energy on grenade kills. So it's a cycle that feeds into itself. You get a kill with Monte Carlo, you get your melee charge, you kill an ad with a melee, you get your grenade charge, you throw a grenade, you're getting a ton of super energy. It's actually a really, really fun build to mess with. And I also have a few things that can definitely help this build even more. Number one, Enhanced Bomber. You get faster grenade cooldown when you're using your class ability. Now this one isn't necessary because solar grenades will pretty much instantly be up regardless, but it's just something to take note of in case you want to have even more grenades, just for the enhanced ashes to assets with it. The next thing I wanted to say is also make sure that you have intellect maxed out to 100. This is important because if you're using enhanced ashes to assets, you're going to want your intellect maxed out so that you are getting super as fast as possible. The whole idea is that it's a cycle that feeds into itself. So if you are getting grenade kills, you are getting super energy, you can pop your super and then keep going on. The next thing that's a lot of fun to do with this build is actually use armaments with it. Yes, armaments. Those things that you got in year two but haven't got in year three, you can go back and get them for armor 2.0. Once you unlock them once, they're unlocked forever. So I have hive armaments, and if I wanted to make the most advantage of them possible, I would rock sun bracers with this build so I can keep on getting grenades, get hive armaments, hive armaments when you defeat a hive enemy with a grenade, grants heavy ammo. It is an absolutely phenomenal perk and it's going to benefit this class even more. Now finally, another thing that you can add to this class is a one-two punch shotgun. If I am getting one-two punch procced, that means when I get my melee kill, I'm gonna have more melee damage if I shoot all the bullets on an enemy with the shotgun. Make sure that you have the right amount of damage to do for your melee. You always wanna get your melee to kill an enemy. It can't just hurt them, it has to kill them for this to work. So you want to get one-two punch all set up for it if you're killing a tougher enemy. If it's a really small enemy that you know you can kill in one punch, then do that and then throw a bunch of grenades. The final thing that you're gonna want for this build that I think will help even more is momentum transfer or even better, enhanced momentum transfer. So for me personally, I'm using an intellect mod on my gauntlets, but if I had the ascendant shards to get to masterwork my sun bracers here, I would be able to use enhanced momentum transfer. Causing damage with a grenade greatly reduces your melee cooldown. So if I'm using the grenades, I'm getting melee cooldown, which will also benefit my Monte Carlo to get me more melee, which will then benefit my grenade which will then benefit my super it's a cycle that feeds into itself you guys will absolutely love this build i've had a lot of fun 
Now we went over it in my chat and we actually found that intellect is a lot better for this build. And the reason is if you're using discipline all the way maxed out, we found that discipline, it doesn't really matter. It's as fast as you can throw the grenades, sun bracers let you. You can throw five solar grenades no matter what, discipline, intellect, strength, whatever build. So discipline isn't really necessary for this build. Intellect is great for this build and we noticed a solid 30 second difference when we were testing it out, which is actually amazing. And finally, some activities that we think would shine. Finally, some activities that I think would best shine for this would absolutely be Gambit, Escalation Protocol, anything that has has a bunch of ads in the room at once. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video and you want to leave it a like, that is up to you. You have the reins. I appreciate you watching the video and I hope to catch you on Twitch in the future. Have a good rest of your day. I love you. Goodbye.